<laughs> Alrighty, and wait. Where's PS3 capture? Why is it? What? Yes, the unequip has redeem. I should. Bam! All right. Bald, 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 Good. No hat. We are a hatless Jones. No hats, Jones. If I have a redeem, I that is way too unsay so, and I would probably almost get banned off Twitch for that. Oh yeah, for those of you, for those fans of bestiality. Anyway, hat back on. You thought skeletons had hair. In what world do skeletons have hair? All right, let's head this way this time. Do an arm flailing animation to maintain balance and then just casually grab the thing! Ah! Oh, yeah, that was what? Second try? Whew. Also, honestly, I do kind of want to play Shadow the Hedgehog because it's. It's one of those games that I refuse to believe actually exists. Like, the first time I saw the box art for Shadow the Hedgehog, where you had Shadow looking edgy with a gun. I literally burst out into laughter. I just saw it at a rental store and just lost it. I just completely lost it. I've heard tell of the development behind it and where the idea even came from. Apparently, uh, Sega kept getting letters from like kids saying, "Hey, can you give Shad or Sonic the Hedgehog a gun? I want to play this game with a gun." And that is why they made Shadow use a gun because they're like, "Oh yes, these letters from four-year-olds will be excellent game design advice." Uh, would I date Rogue the Bat? I received a signal in No, I'm not a furry. Gotta be careful not to fall off here. Ow. Oh god, why am I all the way to the right? I want to change that, please? Oh no. <laughs> How jank must the game be? Oh man. Yes. Absolutely yes. This game had like half the development time it needed to, and partway through development they got rid of half of the staff. So that it could work on Sonic and the Secret Rings instead. This game is like trying to use half a woman to make a baby in four months. And then being surprised when it doesn't come out of the exactly normal. Oh, this is the boss! Right! Ah, I love how the lava is just like a flat polygon with a texture map. Let me grab some of these. Oh, he's just coming at me. Alright, right. That's what he does. I thought he had to hit a rock to make this happen. Anyway, yeah, he just rampages for a bit. And then you can just... You can just do that. 24-hour stream? God, no. Like, I might do a 24-hour stream as, like, a special event that people can just, like, do, like, call in like I did with the subathon, but I don't think I would do a 24-hour stream just out of nowhere. Especially with how busy I am with, like, video editing and taking care of stuff and...
Fair sure with how busy I am with like video editing. Incredible! And if I didn't use it there, I probably would have lost a train and lost a life. But it's fine. We've got one life going into a mock speed zone. I just have to do it, like, first or second try. You know, I just have to get through the hardest mock speed zone first try, and we'll be fine. It's easy. All I gotta do is just get through it. Just beat the level. It's a one-step process. You beat the level. And that's it, and you're fine. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. What do you mean, Flyer? This is a great game! This is a fantastic- <laughs> 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 Yeah, what do you mean? It's a great game! What are you talking about? <laughs> Alright, we're good. We're golden. We can make this. We can- oh, right, the fence. I forgot about the fence. That's my bad, I should remember the fence. Oh well! The Sonic Adventure. <laughs> Archeon 101 because uh, I had such a bad time playing Sonic Adventure that I just stopped playing the game. Like, I got part way into it and decided, no, this this game is bad and not worth my time or effort. Because they certainly don't seem like they can have the good gameplay or story- wait, when did he rescue her? Oh, I knew you returned. You had to. Alright, so this is like at least getting kidnapped number four, I think? Particle effect! Slow motion roll! Oh my god! Here we go! Kidnapped number four! Oh yeah, Wordy Dirt, she is incredible. Like, she doesn't just look out of place, she also looks legitimately Down Syndrome and kind of horrifying to look at in general. In the opening cutscene, she very clearly has, like, fishnet stockings. In, like, actual gameplay. She just has half a tan. Sonic! Diving headfirst towards the ground. Uh, if Sonic wasn't there, like, the world would have ended right there, which I find hilarious. Good controls. There we go. A bee about love and no sex before marriage. Exactly, Billy Smiles. Look, you can pair social me, but that doesn't make me your boyfriend. That's just how it is. I'm not dodging this, by the way. Yes, it deals one hit of damage, which does nothing if you have a ring except make you drop your rings. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, do not say that. Red is awake and on the prowl, and we do not need her in here making comments like that. I don't need to be getting sex best by her. Oh, she's even worse in the pre-rendered FMVs. She looks... Oh, her neck is so long, and her eyes have different zip codes, and her forehead just swells up like she's malformed. Oh my god. Ah, uh, height difference. Ah, bah. That seems like it might be a fun watch along to do if I didn't, like, hate movies and think they were boring and too damn long. His head is the size of her body. I know, isn't it great? And just think of all of the pregnancy compli complications when she's trying to give birth to something covered in spikes! Spikes powerful enough to perforate the steel Eggman uses on his robots. <laughs> that we can fly over. Maybe <laughs> 
drowning in knee-deep water. Let's go. I am missing collectibles. I'm going to go back and collect the collectibles later. Because you get power-ups as the game progresses, so you can go back to earlier stages and later power- so What was the point? We went to Wave Ocean to stop her from getting kidnapped by Eggman. Uh, Egg Princess Elise captured counter is at 5 now, by the way. So after she threw herself off a cliff and almost died to escape Robotnik, she just immediately went back? Did your parents ever disclose to you anything about <laughs> No, that's not the one. Okay, so now I can press R1 to do a dash. That's the blue juice. <laughs> ah, yes, a very well-programmed dash to instantly boost up. programmed so powerfully that when you use the dash button to accelerate, it makes you go slower sometimes. <laughs> oh my god, this game is incredible. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, so blue shoes let you instantly hit... <laughs> instantly hit top speed? But if you roll a 1 on the D6, instead you get capped at walking speed. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I love this game. Is this him? Oh, we have to talk to the NPC and we just go there. Okay. Ah, video games. What is this? The test of knowledge? Is this the teleporter maze? Yes, this is the teleporter maze. Oh boy. Touching a will send you far uh, away. What? Crash. Oh, this one just works me. <laughs> okay. Okay, right brings me to there. Okay. Uh four is over there, so we went back to three? I wonder. I mean, where's the, where's the, there's the four. So, I could try doing this legit, but that seems like a bad idea. Instead, I'm gonna do something stupid. I wonder if I can just, like, physics my way up there. Let's try it. Maybe, actually. This could work. This could work. Hmm. Hold on. I might be able to just jump to that spring and skip this whole fucking teleporter maze. Because nobody likes teleporter mazes. They're terrible. Like, I don't think there's anywhere higher on the tree I can stand than, like, there. Hold on. This is definitely going to be faster and easier. Okay, so I look counting the polygons. This threshold is the exact threshold. Now, if you do that, it doesn't help. Because there's no actual physics in this game. Gotcha. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, teleporter maze! I'm too smart for your bullshit! That's the real trial of intelligence! It's a magician's illusion. They present a teleporter maze that you don't have to deal with. Hey. I have proven my intelligence by not engaging with the teleporter maze. Get wrecked, video game. Trial of Courage, which will test my hearts? Okay, I mean, I don't know fear, therefore I cannot know courage either. But I'm sure it'll be fine. Defeat all enemies with zero rage. Oh, boy. That's asking an awful lot. Oh, I hit the leader, I guess? And the rest- oh! There's a thing there! Oh boy, this is where we're gonna game over, isn't it? Oh boy. Hmm, not- oh! 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 Oh boy! I see what's going on here. So, if I die, it loads a single line of dialogue, 
and then goes to a loading screen to bring me over here where I can have two lines of dialogue, where it goes to a loading screen for one more line of dialogue, and then to a loading screen to actually play the game. Holy shit. That is four loading screens per attempt at this. Incredible. Amazing. Spectacular. Fantastic. If one line of dialogue and... Ah, okay. So can someone time out the uh, time between attempts at the test of courage? Because this is going to be incredible. Well, oh, there's a spring here now. Oh my god, okay. Alright, so let's start counting this out. It is now 15713. Then we have one loading screen, which takes how many seconds of loading? We're at 10 seconds now. Okay, so 15 seconds of loading, then another 15. There is a. This is gonna be a full minute between attempts of nothing but loading. Holy shit. Because it takes about 15 seconds to load, and then there's like the mashing through dialogue. Alright, then more dialogue. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if you just clip this loading time. I'm just gonna clip the loading time and have that be my after stream clip. Okay, we're at over a minute of loading right now. My god. Minute 10? Okay, so it takes about 70 seconds for it to actually load between attempts. And it's costing me lives as well. Lovely! I'm amazed that they actually are demanding a no-hit run of, like, anything in this game. It's incredible that they would have the audacity to do this. I think the slowdown thing will probably help a lot. Oh, enemy! Boop! Laser done! <laughs> That's definitely something that it's possible to humanly react to! <sighs> Time for another minute and 16 seconds of loading! Let's go! Ah, yes, the Triforce of Knowledge, Power, and Love. Okay. Right, I remember this. You go this way and you get locked into a bad end. You came! Oh, I don't want to hear that. Okay, okay, no, no, we're fine, we're fine. All right. Yeah, this controls what cutscene you get, and I, I do not approve of the bestiality ending. Hell yeah, S rank, amazing at video games, let's fucking go. 81%, yeah, we have to finish this off next Sunday and then move on to, like, another, uh, another character. Probably Shadow, maybe Silver? Who knows? One of the two. Anyway, get the heck out of here, you filthy sinners.